There is power, power on the working in the precious blood of Jesus. Oh, there is power, power on the working in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power. Evangelist Andy Lumet, the most powerful black man in London, England, the brightest shining star in London, England. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We feel the blood of Jesus here. Satan will rebuke you. Say, back off. You have no authority here. All authority belongs to Jesus Christ and to me. Holy Spirit, come now. Come, come and anoint me afresh. Let this word go out. Let it break every yoke, loose every captive, free every prisoner. Make every blind eye to see, bring liberty to the captives, freedom for the prisoners, prosperity for the poor. And this be the year of the Lord's favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Let this word go out with power to break every yoke. We take every tough captive to make it obey Christ in the name of Jesus. We we'll pull down every stronghold, we'll demolish every stronghold, every false argument. We we'll pull it down in Jesus' name. We we'll punish every disobedient spirit. Let this word go out unhindered, unchecked, and let salvation come to sinners in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the office of the seer. The office of the seer. The servant. Uh, this is from. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 8. The servant answer saw again, look, he said, I have a quarter of a shekel of silver. I will give it to the man of God so that he will tell us which way to take. Formerly in Israel, if a man went to inquire of God, he would say, come, let us go to the seer. Come, let us go to the seer. Uh, because the prophet of today used to be called the seer. The prophet of today used to be called the seer. Uh, as they enter the town, say so the source of prophet, so enter the town, you will find him before he goes up to the high place. They went to the town, and as they were entering it, there was Samuel coming towards them on his way up to the high place. Okay. So now the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed this to Samuel. About this time tomorrow, I will send a young man, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin, anoint him as leader over my people Israel. He will deliver my people from the hand of the Philistines, I have looked upon my people, for their cry has reached me. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord said to him, This is the man I spoke to you about. Um, he will govern my people. I'm in London, England. The black people here are being harassed, they're being oppressed by racism. Now they have mercenaries oppressing the people in Brixton, South London. Uh, there is much uh, betrayal. They have snitch. People going, hello boss. They tell the white man, hello boss, this black man is come here. He's building a church. Hello boss, those black people are doing this. So the people uh, uh, betray one another to the white man. This was going on in, in Israel. So they cry out to God. The people cry out to God. God said, I will deliver my people. I will send a man to you, Samuel, the seer. You anoint him as king. So when he reached to Samuel, he asked him, are you the seer? I said, we are looking for the seer. Samuel said, I'm the seer. Okay. So reading from 1 Samuel chapter uh, 1 Samuel chapter 11, chapter 10. Uh, chapter 10 says, then Samuel took the flax of oil and poured it on Saul's head to anoint him as king. He took the flax of oil and poured it on on Saul's head and, and grab him like he's saying, has not the Lord anointed you leader over his inheritance? Has not the Lord anointed you leader over his inheritance? 
Um, I had a vision of the night the other day. I saw myself in 10 Downing Street where the Prime Minister of England live. I was the Prime Minister. Behind me was Tony Blair and George Bush standing at the door. Another person looked like an angel. I couldn't see his face. And God was telling me, Andy Lumet, wherever the bottom of your feet shall tread upon, that has I given to you. Be strong, be courageous, be fearless. I will be with you just as I was with Moses. This is Joshua chapter 1 from verse 3 to 9. Or in another second time again, I had the same vision again. I was in 10 Downing Street, uh, London, England. We have won the election, and the white people were bowing down to me, serving me with food and uh, drinks on the silver plate. They were, they were serving me. So I want to give God the glory. In this story, we see here how God anointed uh, Saul as the first king of Israel. He sent the seer, Samuel, to anoint him. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how the CIA works. For example, if the England cricket team is playing Australia next month, we are now in July the 24th. Say if England is playing Australia next month, August 24th, uh, they have not gone to Australia yet. But the CIA, if they, they come to the CIA, he will travel to Australia within the twinkling of an eye, watch the game in, in Australia, Come back with you know, twinkling in the eye and tell you who will win the game, uh, who will score the goal, and how many points they will, they will, they will win. Okay? okay? We see all of that in a twinkling of an eye. He will come right back and tell you who won the game. So now I'm going to see, I'm going to show you uh, how Samuel operated in the office of the seer. I'm Andy Lumel, the evangelist, saying, uh, Peace to you. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Don't weep, don't cry. God is good to you. Amen. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 10. This is how the sea at work. He says, When you leave me today, you will meet two men at Rachel's home at Ziza on the border of Benjamin. They will say to you, the donkeys you set out to look for have been found. And now your father has stopped thinking about the, the donkeys and is worried about you. He is asking, what shall I do about Saul, his son? Then you will go on from there until you reach the great tree of Tabor. Three men going up to God at Bethel will meet you there. One will be carrying three young goats, another three loaves of bread, and another a skin of wine. They will greet you and offer you two loaves of bread, which you will accept from them. Are you listening to me now? The seer is able to see tomorrow. This man saw is going back. He came to look for his donkey. He's going back to, to, to his town. But the CIA is telling him, when you go down the road, you will meet these people and they will tell you this. They will bring bread, they will bring uh, food and that. They will offer you three loaves of bread. You will accept it. Now, they think the, the incident has not yet occurred, but the CIA can see it downtown, even though the man has not left yet. I, I um, happen to you know, talk with a CIA. I was going someplace. Okay, let's do this. You know when the people brought Jesus to, to, to the brought the woman caught in adultery to Jesus? They said, Moses lost said we should stone her. What do you say? You remember Jesus was writing on the ground with his finger without saying a word? He was writing on the ground. When Jesus, that's an African a seer. That's how the seer work. He, that's how he inquired from God what to say and what to do. Okay, Jesus, the Bible says, in, 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 when they brought the woman to Jesus, they said they want to stone her, the Pharisees. Uh, what, what is Jesus saying about this? Jesus didn't answer them a word. He began to write on the, on the ground with his finger. What is that? That's the seer. That's the seer. The seer 
He's inquiring of God now. God, what should I do? These Pharisees are about to stone this woman calling adultery. What should I do? As he's writing on the ground with his finger, God will show him what's happening. God showed him that the Pharisees themselves were a 